Okay, let's talk to Nerds in Paradise. I'm going to get your... Hello, Darlene, are you there? Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Let me find your All email. Right. I, I think Am you I too s- loud? No, no, your no you're fine. Can I can adjust you here. That. Okay. You sound good. Okay, I'm going to read... Hi, guys. Hi. Hi. Sorry. I suck at new technology stuff. Don't say that. You're doing great so, so far. I do. Boy, you're, you should... I yeah, do. you're head and shoulders above a lot of people. Oh, yeah. Um, well, that's nice. Mm-hmm. So, um, Sean, um, I don't know if you remember me. I don't know if Dick remembers me, but I gave you guys knitted cowls at your Road Raid Vegas show. Oh, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yes. me. <laughs> oh, nice to nice to talk with you. I yeah, love those. Uh, it looks amazing on 80s Girl, too, by the way. Thank really? you. Yeah. Woo-hoo. They're like little As long as time. somebody yeah. gets some use out of it, I'm happy. Here's what you sent me, a quick rundown on the racist knitting. And you know what's weird? After you sent this to me, I think like a week or two racist ago. Racist knitting? Yes. It's, Did it's, somebody yes. say the word knitter? I'm a knitter. And um, crazy shit has been happening in the knitting world that I thought you guys would find interesting. I think I because it's a tr- it's a trash fire. I think everywhere. I just KO'd Dick. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it was so. It was just the lowest hanging fruit. Knitter. Yeah. So um, I put a small timeline together, Dick. If you want me just to tell you what's been going on. <laughs> yeah, but wait a minute. Correct me if I'm wrong, but there was like a knitting controversy two weeks ago from uh, from one of the big knitting websites, right? Yes, Ravelry. That's <laughs> yeah, one Ravelry. Of the newer thing. <laughs> that was it, and yes. I saw that, and I'm like, no fucking way. That's what um, that's what Nerd oh, in yeah. Paradise said. Yeah, so I'm going to give you just a quick rundown because it explains why what happened at Ravelry happened. Okay. So I've been knitting since 2009. Okay. Ten years, and until 2016, and the whole Trump thing. I'm mm-hmm. a libertarian, so I don't really care what people think about Trump, but. Until that point, it was just knitting like it should be. I made something cool. Let me show it to you. Mm -hmm. And then the pussy hats started. Mm -hmm. Oh, those had to be knitted, right? Yes. (laughs) So all of these liberal people, all of these liberal women, feminists decided, hey, I need to learn how to knit because I have to make this cool pussy hat and walk down the street in it. Well, it's a very hipster thing to do in in Los Angeles. They're horrible. They're ugly. And I hate them. Big time. Yeah. My sister picked up knitting. Late at night, I threw all of her stuff into the garbage. Yeah. (laughs) Fuck you. You're not getting into this. Yeah. So, So that's what started turning knitting from just a fun thing that people do into a very liberal minded thing. Yeah. You make a political statement. Very, very political. And in January of this year, um, there's a woman named Karen (laughs) Templer and she owns a very popular knitting bag company. She makes like the Birkin bag of knitting. Mm. It's like the number one thing. And she wrote a blog post about how excited she was to go to India this year, that she was craving color and she had always wanted to go to India and (laughs) that um, getting to go to India was like getting to take a rocket to the moon because she never thought that she would get to go. Mm -hmm. And as soon as that blog post was put up because she's white, you are a horrible, nasty, disgusting, racist person. Oh. You're saying that Indian people are from Mars, that they're aliens, uh, that you can no. just go and take their culture. Oh You're my You're saying that God. because you don't have any color, you have to go take their color. <laughs> can you imagine? These people are, exist, and they're serious. Well, it's so funny yes. to me because it's a community where there's no men. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Well, there are men, but they're, but they're mostly gay men. Yeah. So um, do they count? <laughs> they're not, they're not cis men. I got like, I don't know. Yeah. How they're not, no one like yeah. me is in knitting. So I'm exactly. am, imagining the kind of shit that yeah. gets, that they pull at a knitting convention. I know. Um, so when this happens in January and people are all upset at her, she does the exact thing that you should never do in this situation and apologizes. Oh, yeah. And she says, it oh. doesn't matter. That's not how I intended it. <laughs> I am a horrible white person for writing this post and not thinking twice about what I said. Yeah. What Did you read the, the post uh, verbatim? No. That, that was me paraphrasing it because it's about 900 words long. Oh, oh yeah. Christ. It's, it's huge. So this spirals across oh. Instagram, across Ravelry, 
Um, there are a lot of really popular knitting um, podcasts on YouTube because it's easier when you have video to show people the crap that you're making. Right. And anybody who isn't fast enough to say, yes, we have a problem with racism and knitting gets decried everywhere. They're horrible. They're disgusting. What the hell is oh, wrong yarn. with people? What's it's the yarn. yarn. <laughs> it's it's yarn. Thing. And, and even, even people who step up, like there's a very progressive a woman named Christy Glass. She put this big Instagram post about how she loves all of her BIPOC makers. Do you know what uh, BIPOC stands for? No, I do it's, not. It's Black Indigenous People of Color. <laughs> so, so oh, she stands up for all of her. Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Yeah. Can I ask you? Uh, uh -huh. Do. do uh, do they knit? Do do they knit in Africa? Like, don't you only need to knit where it's cold? No, no, you can knit anywhere because you can make almost anything out of knitting. You can make baskets. You can make sandals. Yeah, knitting's um, the technique, right? Oh, yeah, it's, okay. it's a technique as opposed to like weaving so, or all right. All yeah, right. so you can knit anywhere, and I mean, and up until this point, I didn't give a shit. So there what are knitters in Africa. Was. All that matters is if you make something that looks cool, but. Anyway, so I'll, I'll kind of speed forward a little bit. So in January, there was this big push about that all white knitters are horrible. Yeah. That we don't treat black knitters equitably and we should give all the black knitters our money. <laughs> what in the motherfuck, man? But it's man? yarn. Yes. It's just but yarn it's, and it's templates, yarn. It's right? It's yarn, but so many people made this big deal. Well, I'm only going to buy yarn from black dyers. I'm only going to buy designs that were designed by people of color. What the f It's the yarn. It doesn't matter. So that's anyway, the most racist shit. That's some of the most racist really shit is. I've ever it heard. Is. So, but things calm down a little bit. Everything's fine. And then the day after road raid Vegas, I wake up. I'm really still out of it. And I pick up my Instagram and see that Ravelry has made a new policy change. So I'm going to explain Ravelry a little bit for anybody who doesn't know what it is. It is the biggest knitting, crocheting, weaving social media site it had, up until June 23rd, over 8 million uh, registered users. Mm -hmm. I would go on there all the time. It had forums. It had patterns. Mm -hmm. You could buy shit. And on June 23rd, they made a new policy that says, do not post in support of Trump or his administration. <laughs> and um, if I can just read this policy to yeah, you, it's not sure, terribly it. long. Yeah. It says... We are banning support of Donald Trump and his administration on Ravelry. Okay. This includes support in the form of forum posts, projects, patterns, profiles, and all other content. Note that your project data will never be deleted. We will never delete your Ravelry project data for any reason. And if a project needs to be removed from the site, we'll make sure that you still have access to your data. But can you, sh can you shit on the administration for any reason? Yeah. Can you do yeah, a Trump I'm getting sucks? there. I'm uh, getting there. Okay. Sorry. Even if you're permanently banned from Ravelry, you'll still be, access be able to access any of your patterns. We cannot provide a space that is inclusive of all and also allow support for open white supremacy. <laughs> <laughs> here's, here's the best sentence in the whole policy. Support of the Trump administration is undeniably support for white supremacy. Oh, sure. Yeah. Half yeah. the country's a white supremacist, John. Exactly. Uh, so they updated their community guidelines We're to say you left. can still... Yeah, you can still participate if you do support the Trump administration. You just can't talk about it here. Mm -hmm. uh, we're definitely not banning conservative politics. Uh, hate groups yeah, and are. intolerance how is, are different How is that not a ban of conservative politics? He's, yeah. a, he's a Republican president. How the hell yeah. is that not a ban? Uh-huh. So uh. then the next one I find very interesting. It says... Do not try to weaponize this policy by entrapping people who do support the Trump administration into voicing their support. So oh, you can poke and prod no. people. We tell you not to try to do it, but you can. Yeah. <laughs> so, so it's people insane. ask Ravelry. I haven't gotten over that people, first statement about going to India. Yeah. Yeah. So the thing is, most of the patterns on Ravelry that were pro-Trump were things like Make America Great Again hats or Trump 2020 scarves and stuff like that. It wasn't anything like super radical right. Yeah. But there are over 20 patterns that say fuck Trump. 
There are Trump voodoo dolls. Mm-hmm. There's a Trump baby balloon, Ami Gurumi. Sure. And people, people ask the administration at Ravelry, well, are you going to take these designs down then too? Because they're definitely hate speech. No, they're fine. It's only supportive projects and supportive mm. forum posts that are banned. Yeah. I mean, that's, yeah, uh, that sounds right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So okay, a lot of people left. A lot of people left. I left. I downloaded all my patterns and said, fuck you and left. But um, if you care about free happened, speech at all, you got to get exactly. the fuck out of there. You just do. Yeah. It's yeah. absolutely frightening. Things like that. It, it, it is really frightening. And the scary thing is, even though that happened June 23rd, persecution of people who haven't come out and said that they stand with Ravelry or that they're leaving Ravelry yeah, is still getting going shit on, on. Too. Sure. There was um, one popular in Dyer made a post that simply said, I think that we're all created equal and I don't think anybody's right to be infringed. That's all she said. Yeah. And she got over 1,500 comments on Instagram mm-hmm. calling her a Nazi mm-hmm. and a white supremacist. Mm-hmm. And that sure. she was, yeah. she's German. She moved here from Germany. That she should go back to Germany because mm-hmm. that's where people like her belong. I don't yeah. know. I don't even know what yeah. to do anymore. No, no, you know yeah. what's insane? This is, it's this insanity. Is, this, they it's, do this every time there's a Republican president. That's, uh, that's where it, I'm just going to keep telling myself. That this, is, now, this is what happens every time. It happened to Bush. It happened to... Uh, it happened to Reagan, it happened to Nixon, it happens every time there's a Republican president because there's so many, because that's what, that's what they do. There's so many people, there's so many people on the left who are, uh, who are insane to this degree to make everything it's, about white supremacy. That's all there it is It just to drives it. me crazy because it's knitting. I shouldn't have to put up with this shit. Uh, it's, yeah, <laughs> it, it's just knitting. It's yarn. And, uh, the most, what the else most do you have, thing? Sean? What do you have that's not made by black people? What, like, yeah. what are you, <laughs> Can you point? There's gonna they're gonna send a squad to your house. All right, what do you what do you have that's made by black people here? What do you have? I don't know. Where's this TV made? Black uh, people make this TV. Where is that shirt? Did a black person make that shirt? I don't know. Where'd that yarn come from? Mm. Yeah, fucking stupid. Um, the most recent thing I've got one more story because this just happened in the last uh, week. All right, what or is so, it? What's the one? Is, it's the one that I that I texted you about last. There was a very popular gay knitter. Um, and his handle was the sock matician and he right. went to all sorts of conventions and things like that. And he posted on Instagram because that's where all of this crazy shit happens about how, yeah, we all have differing ideas about this and we definitely should talk about it because nobody should feel marginalized, but we shouldn't just come right off the bat and call someone a Nazi without justification. Mm-hmm. That's basically what he said. Oh yeah, and I bet that went very John, well. For oh so, yes, it went very, very well to the point. But he's where an idiot. He, Why is he trying to explain this shit? Like, how how can someone well, be that naive and think that they're talking well, to reasonable people? Well, Just that's not how you it might works. have to. You might have to do what he did once, and then you go, oh, oh, you're you're insane. Yeah. Oh, I'm hey, sorry. Idiot. I gave you. I gave way too much credit here. Here's, learn, you want to learn it the hard the way. That's he's probably fine. a smart guy and probably thought that other, other people, people are, are, are open to a reasonable argument. Yeah, they're not. He he felt, and this is my conjecture just from reading through all of the things that he said and the things that have happened, is that since he is also part of a quote-unquote marginalized group uh-huh. being, being gay and HIV positive, that people would <laughs> listen to the things that he said. Right. No, no, no. All and the 23-year-old uh, white women, white straight women know better. Oh, yeah. So when that didn't happen and people told him that he was a racist, he said, well, I can't be racist because I'm in a marginal group, too. Yeah. Which, of course, made things explode. Okay. Well, yeah. that's he's wrong on that. Yeah. He, can, uh, yeah. he certainly can be uh, he can he can be a bigot. He can be a racist. He can be. Yeah. It does not matter does where you matter. come from. It's right. So he got into it to the point where he was admitted to the hospital and on suicide watch uh, for a day. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Right. Oh. Yeah. So that's the kind of person that, this guy is. You got and a real bad what, case of Hispanic panic. His yeah. people were making fun of him so online. <gasps> the last uh. thing that happened, though, is he got released from the hospital. And last weekend, he went to a yarn convention in England that he had already signed a contract for. Yeah. That he was supposed to do a class at. He had a booth. He was going to sign books. And a black knitter person of color 
came over to his booth and got in his face and basically mm. told him, well, you're, you're a horrible racist and, and you didn't directly talk to me, but you caused me harm. And what are you going to do about it? You need to admit that you're a horrible person. Right, right, right. And right. he allegedly, he physically assaulted her, but there's no videos of this, which is weird because every knitter has a phone for Instagram. And you would think being surrounded by knitters, there mm. would be a video of him physically attacking someone. They probably uh, didn't have their phones in their hands. They had yeah. like the little fucking <laughs> needle thing. They didn't want to get a- HIV from oh. saving. <laughs> Who knows? Oh, Who right. knows? But Thank you, Amanda. Starting- they, I, I, it's fucked. Knitting, yeah. <laughs> the knitting world well, is the, completely fucked. Whoever there's there's a current thing going around this week that all white needers need to come up and admit their white fragility. Well, don't give they into it. Ad- oh, no, I don't give a shit. They oh, can no. kiss my they're, ass. Yeah, they're right. fucking stupid. <laughs> All right. And you can't fix <laughs> it. All right. You I'm can't gonna, fix it. You can't fix you can't stupid. Fix you just can't. You can't fix it. All right. I got to get, I got to get, I got to get through a lot of these guys here today. But thank you. Thank All you for right. telling me. No so, yeah, luck. I'll Good talk l- to you guys later. Bye. 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 Bye.